Marquette University is at the leading edge in terms of transforming engineering education. With building the new engineering building, we certainly had the advantage of putting in the latest and greatest technology. Seeing the damper vibrate. You can see engineering all around you. What we tried to do is make that accessible to the students. Engineering Hall is devoted to addressing global challenges. The entire building is broken down according to the challenges that we have decided are very important to us at Marquette. The motor helps push off. We're working to restore normal human walking to amputees. It requires a lot of complex understanding of the dynamics of everything that's going on there. That's a lot of calculations. I wanted to make sure that students had access to state-of-the-art, high-performance workstations that they could use to do very complex simulations and essentially solve real problems. The students have very high expectations for technology. They're using a lot of CAD applications, a lot of mathematical modeling, so they need the power of a workstation lab. HP is our go-to vendor when looking at technology. Right about the time that we were ready to make the purchase, HP announced the new HP Z1 workstation, which is an all-in-one form factor. I thought it was amazing. The large 27-inch monitors, the additional processors and RAM, really what we were looking at for our engineering students. We can easily open up the machines to work inside and with a tool of design, be able to swap out components very quickly. One of the reasons we chose the Z1 workstation for that lab is it is certified to use with all of our engineering software. We're going to use um, a cantilevered beam. Feedback from students has been exceptional. We've heard that these HP Z1 workstations run faster than our typical desktop computer labs. This is the total knee component. I'm trying to simulate portions of the knee, so I definitely want to see if I can replicate some of that mathematically on the computers. But every time I ran it on my laptop, it sometimes took anywhere from 30 minutes to, I think one time it, it ran for like an hour and a half. So that's when I referred him to the Z1 lab, where he was able to take his simulation time from hours down to minutes. I was just blown away at how quick these computers were. The Z1 Workstation Lab is really an example of how the university wants to be on the leading edge. It's only been open a couple of months, but so far all these workstations have performed flawlessly. I think it was an excellent investment. My greatest hope is that we begin to address the problems that face the globe in a real way. I walk down the street at night. I look up and the building is lit up. It's filled with students and faculty and they're solving real problems. And then I know that we are on the right path.